Hi guys, it's Mr. Choke. If you're watching this, you're definitely at the right place. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and I promise you that will make your academic problems a thing of the past. With that out of the way, let's get into the lesson of the day. Now, I'm going to use this lesson to show you guys how you are supposed to deal with diminishing balance method, but I'm also going to show you how you are supposed to record this in the fixed uh, asset note, okay? Now, here they're saying that the balances appear in the books on 1 March 2020 as follows. Our cost price of the equipment is 40000 Accumulated depreciation is 7600 So, we are firstly going to start by entering the opening balance and also record the purchase in the ledger account. And then after that, we'll deal with depreciations. And then from there, we also do our fixed asset register, okay? So, this is what we are going to do. Remember, on the 1st of March 2020, the opening balance of our equipment was um it was um the opening balance of our equipment was uh, the price that they gave us here um they said it's uh 40 000 so we need to start uh, to record that here okay so remember uh, because the equipment is an asset is going to increase on the debit side so when we start we're going to say um 2020 march uh, the first then would say our balance um brought down which according to here our balance brought down it's um according to here is forty thousand so that forty thousand we will record it here okay and then we then go to the second transaction where they are talking about the the purchase so here they're saying that we bought a new equipment for ninety six thousand on the first of november twenty twenty so we're going to record that so we would say um 2020 november and then the date according to here um the date is the first so we'll say the first and then we are going to say bank because they didn't tell us how we purchased it but if they don't say anything remember it means we bought it for cash so we'll say cash payment journal and then the total will be ninety six thousand. okay then after this because we are not dealing with disposals yet we would have to close this because that's the only thing um, that happened for the year. So if you add 40,000 plus 96,000, it will give you um, the total of our equipment. So 40,000 plus 96,000, it is giving us 136,000. So it means that our total cost price is 136,000. Okay. And then from there, we go to also record on the credit side. Remember, it's going to be 2020, uh, 2020 December the 31st. And then we'd have our balance um, carried down, which is the same as this. In this case, it's 136,000. Then remember, your balance carried down in the ledger must become your balance brought down uh, for next year. So we are going to say 2021. Um, Okay, sorry, I just forgot the financial period. So the financial period here, it's actually um, March, not uh, December. So it's going to be, um, I'm going to change the date here. So remember, it's going to be um, 2021. And then here we have February uh, the 28th. Okay, so please be careful about that. So 2021, um, February 28th. And then we'll have our balance carried down. And then... Remember, this will be our opening balance uh, for March um, the 1st in 2021. So it will be our balance um, brought down of the same uh, 136,000. Okay, so this is how you record when they buy in the ledger account. And then from here, you can simply make sure that you also record the information, guys, in your fixed asset note so that you don't waste time. So remember our cost price at the beginning um in our fixed asset note according to our information our cost price in the beginning was forty thousand so we can start uh, with that forty thousand here to say that the cost price was forty thousand and then uh, the addition at cost it will be ninety six thousand and then the cost at the end it will be um remember the answer that we got uh cost price at the end is hundred and uh hundred and thirty six thousand okay and then you have recorded that information and then after this all that you have to do is to also make sure that you go to your your depreciation calculation so according to here 
um, they are saying that remember our depreciation is calculated at 10 percent per annum using diminishing balance method so we are going to start our depreciation with the new one remember when you are dealing with a new asset you are going to calculate uh, using um, the cost price so our cost price in this case is 96,000 our rate is 10 percent and in that time this was with us for november december january february so it was with us only for four months so we're going to say for the new one we're going to say 96,000 multiply by 10 over 100 and then multiply by 4 out of 12 then it will give us our total so we'll say 96,000 multiply by 10 divide uh, 10 divided by 100 and then multiply by 4 divided by 12 because it was with us from november december january february okay so meaning that it was with us for only four months and the depreciation for this is 3200 remember i said in class that um when you calculate depreciation using diminishing balance method for a new asset on the first year you're going to use um calculate on the cost price because it doesn't have accumulated depreciation yet now for the old assets what we need to do we need to make sure that we calculate our carrying value first so we're going to say um 40,000 minus 7.6 and then it will give us our carrying value okay remember a uh, carrying value is cost price minus accumulated depreciation so our 40,000 remember like i said this is your cost price this is your accumulated depreciation so 40,000 minus 7.6 it gives us 32,000 uh, 400 so when we calculate our depreciation we are going to calculate it on the carrying value of 32,400 so we'll therefore say um 32,400 multiply by 10 over 100 and then multiply by 12 over 12 it is giving us let's see 32,400 multiply by 10 uh 10 divide by 100 and then multiply by 12 divide by 12 it is giving us 3240 so this is a depreciation of the old asset that we had remember this new purchase was not included so our total depreciation our total depreciation is going to be 3200 plus 3240 okay so let's see 3.2 plus 3240 it is giving us 6440 and then this will be our total depreciation for the year so i'm going to show you how to record this also in the ledger account so let's go there quickly so in our ledger account remember i'll come back to the fixed asset after in our ledger account for depreciation let me see if we made uh something for depreciation okay here it is so remember guys depreciation is increased by accumulated depreciation so i'm going to come here and say at the end of the year would say 2021 um february 28 let me just say something uh, i just remembered uh something i just want to check if we corrected this okay so it's fine so let's go to that depreciation part again in that ledge so remember like i said you say 2021 february 28 and then you would have your accumulated depreciation on vehicle uh, on on a uh, equipment okay and then that total remember the contra account for depreciation is accumulated so the more your depreciation increases the more your accumulated also increases and then the total that we got according to this we got um 6440 so we'd have um here would have general general and then total amount 6440 now obviously this is an expense so we must lose it off uh, to the final account called profit and loss so we'd say um 2021 february um 28 and then we'd say profit and loss okay and then general general same amount 6440 6440 and also 6440 so we are done with depreciation so we also need to make sure that we go to the ledger account for accumulated depreciation so we are going to do that very quick now let's check when we started the year 
our accumulated depreciation because it increases on the credit side would say um 2020 march the first and then we'd say balance uh brought down uh, which is according to here according to the information the opening balance is 7.6 so we'd have that 7600 and then because accumulated depreciation is increasing would we'll come here and increase it would we'll say 2021 february 28 and then would we'll have depreciation here okay and then general general the total depreciation for the year was calculated as uh, 6440 so we have 6440 here and then from there because this is a negative asset we we'll need to close this so we'll do our totals here then remember if you say 7.6 plus uh, 6440 that's going to give you 14,040 so you'd have 14,040 this side and 14,040 remember there must be a balance carried down here so we'd say 2021 um february 28 and then we'd say um our balance uh carried down which will be the same as this so we'd have 14,040 and then next uh next year uh in we would say um 2021 march uh the first then we have our balance uh brought down as um fourteen thousand and forty. so we have already also shown this um on our accumulated depreciation so you also need to make sure that once you have shown this uh you record this also in your you also go and record this um remember we did the ledger account for depreciation accumulated depreciation and the cost so we can also take this information and transfer it to our fixed assets i'm just going to show you now how to do that so the fixed asset note here it is uh remember at the beginning when we started our accumulated depreciation according to our information was seven thousand six hundred so that seven thousand six hundred will come here so if you say forty thousand minus uh seven thousand six hundred it will give you um thirty two thousand four hundred remember that carrying value that we got um when we were calculating for depreciation and then our total depreciation for the year was six thousand four hundred and forty so we do have it here and then now so obviously our total accumulated will be seven point six plus six thousand four hundred and forty which will give you um 14,040 okay and then the very same 14,040 if you take 136,000 and you minus uh you minus um 14,040 it will give you the carrying value that we are supposed to have which is 121,960 so uh, by doing this we have shown our information on the fixed asset uh on the ledger account as well as we have also done the calculation so we've covered three things in this lesson okay there's a way that you can also use um to confirm if your information is really right so what you can do if you were to check on the movement section that uh, the the positive sign is the biggest one so you can just get the difference between the two if you say ninety six thousand minus six thousand four hundred and forty is going to give you 89,560 so here on the movement section um you'd have 89,560 so this is just another way of of checking if your information is correct so if you say 32,400 uh, plus uh, 89,560 it still gives you that 121,960 so it shows that how we've done our calculations is very correct thank you so much guys for watching uh, if you want me to become your online tutor you're more than welcome to use the details that are available in the description of this video with that out of the way thank you so much for watching remember that our lessons start from just 500 and if you want me to tutor you more than two times in a week we will make that 750 please don't forget to get in touch with us by using the details that are available in the description of this video Thank you so much for watching. May God richly bless you. Shalom.